Javier, how are you? Good. How are you, man? I've, I've been a real, real big fan of your work. You've been doing awesome work with what you do. Big, big hey. admiration of what you do. Good. Well, thank you. I really appreciate you guys having me on here. You know, it's an honor and uh, I really hope that everyone that's watching, they get a lot of inspiration and, uh, you know, just go through with it. You know, I mean, uh, you starting from where you started, I'm sure it wasn't very easy, you know, um, but you put in the hard work and everything to learn. And uh, that's just how it is. You know, it's, uh, it's, it's, it, this isn't something that's from one day to the next. It, it does take many, many years of uh, dedication, you know, you got to put your sweat equity in it and everything. So everybody out there that's watching, you know, um, keep going, keep grinding and, and do what you love. You know, the outcome is there and you guys will do great doing it. Just just don't quit. All right. All right. So let's dig in. So basically, just we, we'd like to know more, more about you, more about your work, more about um, interesting on, on you, where, where you came from. Um, uh, how, how do you get into this business? So first, let's, let's get started. Who, yeah, who is who is Javier? Yeah, okay. Oh, all right, good, good. Well, you know, with my background, um, I was a big into uh, consumer electronics. So I used to do uh, importing and drop shipping with Amazon FBA. So with that, that led me out to uh, one of uh, one of the conventions that I went out in Hong Kong. You know, it's a big uh, trade fair for consumer electronic tra electronics called HKTDC. Um, so I was out there, you know, walking around, walking through the booths and uh, I ran into this technology, you know, they, they were there, they were refurbishing Apple screens, they had Samsung screens and everything like that. So that is how I got introduced into the technology. And then me be, being a business owner, you know, entrepreneur, I saw an opportunity with this. So I would said, hey, you know what, this is something that is going to be the future. And um, I want to bring this back to my hometown. And I basically flipped my whole business from you know, drop shipping e-commerce to now uh, all full-fledged phone repair, uh, refurbishing, and, uh, you know, retail location and everything. So that is pretty much the, the starting point on that. Okay. So, so but, but before, what were you were doing before? So you were doing uh, drop shipping, but before that you were, you were in technology as well or, or just? Yes. Yeah. Before, prior to the phones, I was into uh, consumer electronics. I would uh, import like tech gadgets, like gimbals. Um, I used to uh, drop ship Bitcoin miners back in uh, 2015. So um, from there, I would, um, you know, basically set up links on eBay and people would purchase and I would put orders in and basically have them drop ship from Hong Kong or Shenzhen, where they were coming from, to people all over the world. You know, I had buyers in uh, Turkey and uh, everywhere, like Bahrain and all over the world, they would buy these Bitcoin machines. So that was kind of like the first, first real um, drop shipping and, and business that, that got me from there. And then from there, I started doing laptop computers, you know, like action cameras and um, all that. So, and then prior prior to that, I was in the wireless industry. So I do have a wireless background. I was with Verizon for about six to seven years. So prior to that, I was in the retail uh, corporate world doing uh, uh, sales, customer service. And of course, you know, there was always technical questions, which me having a technical background, I'm tech savvy. I was able to assist and uh, just grow from there, you know. So there's a lot of different chapters that I've uh, developed and I've learned and I've grown and I've been able to use all those skills to get me to where I'm at today. Excellent. Excellent. So, so at the beginning, how difficult was to start your, your, your first business or, or move to, to drop shipping to put a physical location? How, how difficult was yeah. that transition? It was, uh, it was really difficult because uh, my drop shipping, I was able to work from home, you know, as long as I had internet access, I can uh, search the internet and everything like that. And then later on, you know, the, the traditional transferring over to retail, it was, uh, it was a bigger stepping stone, you know, because I wasn't able, I didn't have the funding to uh, have a location just to go, all right, you know, I'm going to buy a building and, and move in there and we're, here we go retail. So uh, we started mobily. We started with the little van. We had the van. Um, you know, I, I did everything. I set up Google listings, did all the SEO, on the, created a website and did everything so people would find us and we would drive out to our customers on site in our little uh, transit van, fix the phones, give it to them, and you know, give them a hundred percent customer satisfaction. You know, I mean, me being with the uh, retail, you know, I've learned a lot with satisfaction on customers, and you want to keep everybody happy. So, so we started mobily, and then from there, it was just like, man, you know, we, our volumes getting up. You know, we we, we got to get out of our little house. We had a little uh, well, a house and one bedroom. We did the repairs, so. Um, I started looking for a location. We found a great location here in Las Cruces in uh, 
nice uh, prime area and, um, you know, the rest is history. So we're here now and, um, you know, through platforms like YouTube, Instagram, using all these platforms, we've been able, we've been able to reach out to consumers and that opened up a whole new, you know, like mail-in repairs. So now customers mail in their phones to us from all over the U.S. Oh yeah, that's great. So, so, so I like to hear. I, I, I mean, I, I mean, I see you start mobile. So, so many of us, we get into that fear of if I want to start a business, I want a, 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 a physical location. You know, uh, if yeah. I want a business, I want to have these tools and that tools. And and knowing knowing you, seeing you work that you do, and knowing that now that you start mobile is, is wow. I mean, so everybody can do it. This is this is not. Yeah. A, a budget thing yes it is and it, it always a budget you always want to have a forecast and have a you know make sure that you're not going to be spending more money than what you can especially in a startup because the startup is like the most difficult part is um you got to make sure that you spread your dollar as far as it can go because if not then you'll end up you know being me or water and then you'll burn yourself out trying to you know keep up with it so um you know but for all of you guys out there wanting to start it you know you can start it in your in your spare room in your own room all you need is a little desk, you know, you don't need much desk, a little bit of tools, some plates, and you can start learning and, you know, set up ads on Craigslist. You know, there's different marketplaces we can advertise for free and the people will come, you know, um, cell phones right now. I mean, it's a billion, billion dollar industry. So, you know, it's four billions and it's getting bigger. And then now with the phones going up in price, you know, they're just expensive. So the that brings a whole new recycling, you know, you get the old phones and, and hand them down and they're still great, you know, so. Um, lots of opportunity, you know, if, if you enjoy it, do it and have fun with it. You know, the end of it is you just want to have fun with what you're doing and uh, and just enjoy it. Yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah. That's absolutely great. Uh, so. So in, in, in the beginnings, uh, I, I want to take you there. So, so that way people that are starting, they know it's, 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 it's a process. You didn't start fixing glass only, right? Or, or you you did start fixing glass only refurbishing? Not at all. We, we were doing uh, like like the traditional repair shops where they do the LCD swaps. You know, that was what what I knew. You know, like when I was first repairing, when I broke my phone, and I wanted to fix it myself. I was like, hey, okay, cool. You can buy the part on eBay or wherever you want to get it and swap it out. But then as the technology started getting more advanced, um, you know, it, it's not cheap, especially for Samsungs. You know, they own the yeah. The technology rights that OLED, that Samsung, you're not going to get a Chinese knockoff on there. So there's no aftermarket parts for Samsungs. There's mm -hmm. one part. As long as that OLED's good, the glass is broken. The glass is, you know, if you have the technique in the tray, you can get that off and re and use your same OLED panel, which is, you know, I call it black gold. You know, it's a black OLED, which you know, it's it's yeah. worth some money. So just yeah. polish it off and let's get it back up and running. So yeah, then okay. it'll last. Yes. Yeah, so. Yeah, so traditionally I did start just doing LCD swaps and, you know, with that, that kind of opened up when I saw that in uh, Hong Kong, you know, so that just opened my eyes to see like, hey, you know what, there's actually layers on here. These are like sandwiches. If you want to take that meat out, you got to take it off and then just put another layer on top of it and you're good. Yeah, yeah. So so how long you been doing cell phone repairs? Cell phone repair, we're going on five years. So we started in 2016. So 2016. Right. And, um, you know, we're here 2021, things have been going great and, you know, everything's just going good. Yeah. So, so in 2016, you start doing cell phone repairs and swapping big parts, you know, like, like reg most of regular pawn shops do, right? Correct. Well, you know what? No, because when I really got into this, we, we started doing refurbishing. So, so, but in my past, I, I, I had experience with fixing some phones doing LCD swaps. Okay. But in 2016, we were strictly refurbishing. I bought all the equipment, I bought all the machines, and I said, hey, you know what, we're going to do it, and we're going to refurbish. Because if oh, okay. you, yeah, so right away, we were all full, full 100% refurbishing when we started. So right when you opened your first location, you were, refurb you were refurbishing, yeah. right? Refurbishing. We were, we were trying wow. to learn how to refurbish, you know. We were... Okay. We were in the process of uh, learning our skills, uh, figuring out how to, you know, remove the glass, how to clean the oak up from the from the OLEDs, and you know, it was still something that we were we were doing. But we were swapping them out, and then we would get the good OEM screens, and from those cores, we would start refurbishing, and uh, that's how we picked up our our craft and our trade and learned from our mistakes. Yeah. So do you, do you went to, to some trainings, or you basically by by, by doing it? Uh, yes. Yeah, yes and no. We, we, I first started off, you know, YouTube videos, just watching people do it, um, you know, just to figure out the, uh, 
you know, just to see the technique and what needs to be done. But the thing is, what helped me the best was getting trained. You know, you, you got to go. I mean, it's, 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 you can learn some things, but there's a lot of things that you need to have a master watching you and making sure you're doing everything correctly. Cause you know, you could put a little bit too much pressure that it's hard to see visually. You got to see it, you know, physically here. So, um, but yeah, I mean, I, I did get trained after a year of us trying to learn by ourselves. I did end up going to Hong Kong and I got trained. Oh, wow. So how long does that training uh, took you? I took uh, two weeks of training out there. So right. uh, from there, I was able to master like the Oka cleaning process and the, the cleaning of the, the, the OLED panel. And then from there, we were able to, you know, get everything laminated because laminating and all that, that's an easier step. It's the most critical part is taking the glass off. And then, of course, uh, the cleaning process of the Oka. Oh, wow. So you've been in business for about five years. You're doing great. Sure. How, how was last year? How was last year with all these Mess. Last year was great. You know what? Um, we had a, a, had a really great year. Um, it was crazy with the pandemic. Um, but the thing is, uh, we had we had our uh, website and everything set up for mail-in orders. So, you know, customers would just click on a link. They get a quote. If they, they want to move forward, fill out a form. We email them a prepaid label. And, um, you know, our numbers year over year have grown. We're like at about a 30% year over year growth right now. So, um, and it's just, you know, I, I, I believe we're going to just keep on growing as, as a company and a business. Oh, that's fantastic. That's great. That's, that's what business should do. Grow and expand. Yes, right. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So, um, when you were fixing phones, at the, at, uh, when you were, uh, deciding uh, what, what took you to decide on going refurbishing instead of micro soldering or just up in a chain of different 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 yeah repairs um you know I, I i i just did some research and personal research i saw that you know your phones are being dropped more than anything we, we have our phones with us and uh you know it's gonna break and it's glass so i just decided to go that route because a lot of the stuff that i was seeing was cracked screens you know so that was just one thing that that um i just went in on and uh we've, we've been doing great with that so uh, soldering is another deal that I do want to get into, but that's a lot more intricate. So what you guys are doing over there is fantastic. You know, the micro solder work and all that, that is a, a lot of intricate like work where you guys need to uh, know exactly what you're doing, which is amazing. Uh, when I see you, I'm seeing the same thing. I'm seeing amazing. I'm seeing, wow. I mean, how, how that layer of, I mean, it's just paper layer looks like <laughs> they moves yeah. everywhere. Yeah. And it's amazing, amazing what you do, amazing, real, real admiration of your work. Uh, Thank you. So, so, and, and, and the, so when you opened your fir first shop, uh, how many hours you were working? You were working uh, just a regular employee, every day, eight hours? Every day. I was working every day, all the time. I wouldn't go to, I'd, I'd be up working on phones. I'd be going to sleep, you know, like nine, ten, learning how to do it, so. Getting started, I put a lot of uh, sweat equity in getting started, and it's not something where you just go dabble in for an hour or two and then let it go. I was in there working, 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 working. And then once I figured out a good process, then that's when I went ahead and advanced and then uh, hired technicians and um, trained them on what I knew on how to get this done, which has been even easier because you're able to delegate, you know, instead of you being in the trenches, um, you know, you're able to share that with other technicians that help out with that. Yeah, yeah for sure, for sure. Uh, so how, how many employees do you, do you currently uh, have? Uh, currently, right now, we have five employees. You know, I have a, we have an administrator, we have three technicians, and then I have another uh, video crew that does all our videos and our marketing department as well. So, um, you know, we have a, a full wide spectrum right now and, and slowly adding more in as we need to. Oh yeah, that's great. That's great. Yeah, because sometimes work it just gets overload and and it gets frustrating it of knowing what to do. And then us being the owners, you know, there's a lot of back end stuff that you really don't see. You know, we have to take care of all the the mortgages and this bills, this everything comes in and uh, the new technology. You know, me being a master, I have to you know go and experiment with the new devices that are coming out and then uh, get on them as soon as we can so that we're already ahead of the competition and. I'm able to train my guys on how they do it and rerun with it successfully.